Hello and welcome to Sue Finley Designs. Today's video is number four in the mixed media and resin series. It's um, a video on this piece here. Put the right way up. This piece here. This for this to create this, we have used multi-purpose filler to create the trunk and the branches and then I've used potpourri to create the leaves and the elements for the design. Now potpourri is a fantastic medium to use because it's already dried out and saves you a great deal of time and effort um, if you were to get leaves and things from your local park or wherever. This has already been done and it also still has the smell of vanilla going on so you, that you've got a scented piece as well so it just makes for a, a, an added um, what, what's the word I'm looking for anyway so so this is where we're up to with this so without further ado let's get into this video so like last time I'm using the multi-purpose filler to create the design now I've not sketched it out or anything here you can do that though if you want to sketch out your tree or your shape or your design before starting that's entirely up to yourself but i already knew i was going to be creating a tree more because i was using the potpourri and with it having been like earthy and being nature elements it felt, it felt appropriate to do another tree so hence why a tree is being done so yeah so just using the filler i'm just slapping it on there and um, just moving it around just giving it uh, some branches and just to give it a bit of shape most of it's going to be covered by the potpourri so i'm not worried about it being perfect or anything like that and I actually quite like the idea it's a little bit abstract and not perfect so um but you can spend time and make it as perfect as you like Now as you can see I'm just applying it here with a spatula. You can actually use a knife or wooden stick or whatever you've got to hand to help move that on. You can even use your fingers. And I'm also using a damp cloth to tidy up any areas that need tidying up because it just wipes off quite easily while it's still wet. Now I quite like using the multi-purpose filler or wall filler because one it's easy to apply and two it doesn't crack when it dries so it saves a lot of mess around unless of course you want you know a cracked piece but then with this um i didn't obviously and all i've done is i've just painted it black and just added some resin uh, which i've tinted in red now like pre the previous um, texture pieces I'm actually going to wipe most of this red off because I don't want to lose the texture from the tree so I'm just going to dab that off and get the majority of this resin off again now it is going to have another um, few layers of resin so it you know the board will get covered with resin so you'll still get a nice shiny uh, gloss finish when it's done so what I'm doing here is I've mixed up some a1 pigments I think it's the red crystal series so that I mean you can't really see it there but it does have some red glitter in there and I'm just creating a glow around the tree just to highlight the tree so that it's got some definition and that you can see the branches and so it gives it a spooky element because we're getting close to Halloween I thought it'd be appropriate to do um, you know something a little bit on the on a spooky side And I'm also adding some white highlights around the edge. Now this is also a glitter pigment, which is also from A1 Pigments. This is the Flashing White series, so it's got like a silver element to it. So this is just going to emphasize the, the tree and, and give it more of that glow effect. Because I wanted the background to almost look like spooky clouds, so that sort of give an air of autumn and... Halloween to it. So what I've done now is I've just poured some of the potpourri into a silicone dish which I've mixed a tiny bit of resin with and I'll give it a good mix up 
just so that each element is coated properly so that I can just pick it out and place it where I need it to go. And it also means that because I've done it this way it just saves a lot of time and messing around because there are quite a few elements in this piece so I'm not coating them individually before applying them so they're all coated together which makes it a lot easier. I'm just going to strategically place pieces that I think um, would look appealing and sort of build on the layers to give a tree effect. So I'll just keep going with that um, until I've got the desired effect that I'm after. Now if I run out of the leaves and things I can just mix up another ba small batch of resin and just coat them the same as what I have did here. Once this is all in place and it's I didn't show it on the camera I did actually pour another very light coat of resin over the top just to make sure that, that all of the pieces are covered in resin and to make sure that they stick fast to the background and that nothing falls off. So as you can see it's made for a really interesting resin piece so it just makes it just a little bit different with the elements in there and um, it's actually worked out quite well. The potpourri is quite hard to the touch so it's um, worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas to make your resin pieces just that little bit different and brings in a new element into your design. So um, that's it for me for today and until next time I hope you enjoy crafting and I will speak to you all again soon. Thank you, goodbye.